Good evening, Newcastle United fans and wherever you are across the world. Welcome to the Toon Review. Uh, tonight, uh, we will, of course, be previewing the two friendly games. Uh, first one is tomorrow night, of course, taking on Atalanta of Serie A. And then La Liga team Athletic Bilbao come to St. James's at three o'clock on Saturday. So plenty of football to go on. And of course, Billy will be commentating because the games will be shown on uh, the official website again. Uh, which means that uh, Billy will be in action uh, commentating tomorrow night and on the afternoon game on Saturday. So there will be watch-alongs on this channel. Uh, so those of you that can't get to the game, watch it on the uh, website, sound off and listen to Billy uh, with his commentary. And I'm sure you'll get some very good statistical analysis. There you go. That's my big words finished for Thursday mm -hmm. night. Uh, we will also be having a look at a few transfers with Alex. Uh, a few names that have been linked, of course. Um, very, very strange goings on. Uh, we may as well bring this up straight away with regards to um, tagging the owners again in tweets. Um, now, Daniel, Daniel, I know it's a big bugbearer with you. It's a bugbearer with everybody. Um, I don't get, uh, I don't understand. Some of the channels I've watched have said it's, it's okay to do. Um, I'm totally against it because these guys have come in and have done absolutely an incredible job already at my football club. And I'm absolutely proud of what they've achieved so far. Uh, I'm proud of where they are taking the club and where the club is heading. Um, but I guess some people just find it necessary to tag the owners and let them know how they're feeling. Um, We've got a $5 super chat from Alvin Messenger straight off the bat. Thank you, Alvin. He says, good evening all. Looking forward to another great show. Tune Review is absolute best show on the planet. Cheers from the US. Thank you very much, Alvin. Uh, Danielle, um, tagging the owners, mm -hmm. it, it's just pathetic now, isn't it? It's getting out of hand. Just unnecessary. Yeah. I don't I don't know why you would do it. For what reason? Like, Because I'm sure my dad's not bothered what Bob down the street thinks. Like, I'm sure like there's a plan in place. And I'm sure that, that, you know, whatever happened will happen for the right reason and that everything's in hand. Like, I, I, I don't understand. I just feel like over the past couple of weeks with, like, you know, friendly results, etc. I feel like there's a load of anxiety on Tyneside at the minute for whatever, one reason or another. So, you know, after the game the other night, it was, oh, you know, we're, we're going to get beaten by Forrest, all the rest of it. Like, I've never seen anything so ridiculous. But that's what you think. That's what you think. But why are you tagging owners in, man? Just, yeah, just... I, I don't get it at all. I mean, it, it's just ridiculous. Uh, John Doe says, uh, hey, Paul, is there anywhere that I could meet you tomorrow at the game? Would love to meet you. Uh, yeah, me and Alex will be outside the, well, just alongside from the club shop tomorrow night. Um, we will be just standing by the Jackie Milburn stand. There'll be a few of us there probably. So, uh, yeah, just come over and say hello. Uh, Steph's also at the match tomorrow. Um, she's in the Gallagher. You want to come and say hello, Steph? We'll be outside that club shop just before the game. Uh, even and all, I can't wait for tomorrow's game. Uh, Toonami Society, Toon Review family. I reckon Sunderland will be in a relegation battle. Uh, they've still got most of their League One players. The championship is more brutal now. Well, ask their fans to win the Champions League this season, even if they're not in it. Just a um, word on Sunderland. They're, yes, they're, not really looking, they're not really looking after their fans very well, you know. The reason I say that is my manager at work is a season ticket holder, but she's got a hospitality season ticket. So right. she pays like a lot of money, like thousands of pounds. Yeah. And all she got through the post was this flimsy little plastic card with hospitality written on it. Nothing, nothing else. For, for <sighs> thousands and thousands of pounds, you'd expect a bit more, wouldn't you? They've got to aim a bit yes. higher. Our lovely friends down the road, once mm -hmm. again, 100% treating their, their fans like gold. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Louis says, uh, good evening, guys. Going to be having my first wrestling match in a few weeks in front of a live crowd. So fingers crossed everything goes well. Go on, uh, son. Let us know how you get on, Louis. Uh, Carl, good evening. Chippers has got my signed picks ready for you all on Saturday. Yes, we're going to finally see Chippers at a game on Saturday. Um, <laughs> and he's doing a John Sinclair, so he will have signed photographs already <laughs> tucked up uh, in his fanny pack. Um, 
Kevin Pryor, thank you for your five pound super chat, mate. Uh, he says, even and all, is Billy still confident on Paqueta going to Newcastle? Because I'm not so confident. Um, we'll answer that in a second, Billy, because we've just got another one in from Zishan again, 899. Thanks, Zishan, for your continued support, my friend. Uh, he says, even people, Benjamin Sheshko. Uh, uh, no, is it? She yes, it's Sheshko, isn't it? Uh, scored against Liverpool yesterday. Uh, don't know whether to smile or cry. You just know that the vultures are going to be out now. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Um, Billy Paqueta, how's your confidence levels now? If he goes anywhere, I'll be to Newcastle United, I think. Okay. So you're still pretty confident that if he, he leaves Leon, he comes to us? I think so. Alex, are you still feeling the same kind of... Uh, upbeat mood that Billy is about Paqueta because obviously there is rumours going around or reports going around that he's claimed that he doesn't want to move to Arsenal or Newcastle oh, I think it's our answer that because he's having a few problems yes he so seems to be that, that reporter who, who wrote that article about Paqueta not wanting to come also said that Sven Botman didn't want to come mm -hmm. so yeah. I just think that's a lot of rubbish like yeah. Uh, don't don't believe everything that you read. And yeah, as far I mean, as yeah, yes, we as can, far yeah. as Paquette is concerned, I just think what would be will be. I'm not overly mm. focusing after my heart was broken over Diaby. Um, I'm not focusing on any other players. Just what would be will be. Uh, Alex, we could hear you, mate. You, you were there. Ooh. Can you hear us, Alex? Nope. You no, you froze. Alex, can't hear you. Alex can't hear us. Oh, bless him. Uh, I'll put him out just for a while and then he can get himself sorted. Yeah. Um, let's have a look at some more of your comments. Uh, oh, actually, before we do that, uh, Castori, of course, broke the news um, a couple of days ago, or was it yesterday, that um, the new shirts were coming, the away shirts, uh, and there they are. Um, now, I actually like them. Uh, I, you know, I know a lot was made of the sleeves when it first was announced, um, but I really like them, guys. I don't know about you, but I think they look lovely. Mm -hmm. I like the sort of gold on the blue. I think it, it matches really well. Um, and there it is without anybody in it. Um, good time to release the away shirt, Danielle? Yeah, absolutely perfect timing. I like it. I, I don't see an issue with the sleeves at all. Um, yeah. I think they look great. But I, I, it's, for me, it's that kind of shirt that you want to see up close. So yeah. I'll, I'll probably, when we've got the Forest game, I'll probably nip it at the shop and have a look at it. Um, but yeah, lovely, lovely time to do it. Two home games, back to back, lovely. And Billy, I think a lot more people will be uh, going to the club shop for them rather than order them online. 100%. It seems to be the only way of getting anything done properly. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the sleeves I was critical of don't look so apparent now. However, I do think it's a bit Everton-y, I've got to say. Everton? Oh. Mm. No. It's a new really. shirt. Don't say that because I'm going to get it. Yeah, I'm getting it as well. Absolutely. Friggin' lootly. Um, no doubt about it. I mean, listen, everybody to their own. You know, I, I, I just, I don't think it's the same colour blue as Everton, no, Billy. I think it's... A, it's, it's do you remember a, the away blue we used to have with the Asics shirt? Yeah. If yes. it was that colour blue, I'd have preferred it. And it's not. It's a, yeah. a shade darker, isn't it? I like a darker blue, me. I do as well. Ah, but yeah. it's color theory. It's got to. It's got to look nice with against the gold trim, hasn't it? Because it's like a bronze well, gold. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure that the mm -hmm. way blue would have. But there you go. It's just my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yep. You are welcome to it as well, my friend. Uh, evening, Andrew. Hope you're well. Um, evening, everyone. Uh, Going to be an interesting week or so. This loan will hopefully provide the cash for Paqueta and Werner. I'd be absolutely buzzing if those arrived. Very clever from the owners too. Uh, Alex, I know you were quite annoyed with the uh, our, well, not so much friends at The Sun, um, of course, for their back page announcement. A, a pathetic, a really pathetic headline on their back page this morning saying Geordie Poor. Now, obviously, I've done a video of, of it earlier on today. Um, very, very pissed off at them, to be honest, because Villa have done the same today. Teams do it every single season and it never gets brought up. But when Newcastle do it, the vultures are there. Yeah, well, it's... When, when we talk about the bias or the big six or southern bias or London bias, variations of the same issue, just, just you know, packaged up as a different thing. 
Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of them, when, when we've had guests on the show, or we speak to journalists, a lot of them, they, they think it's a bit silly and they think we're a bit over the top. Um, I, ideally, we need to just collect this and make like a, like a scrapbook of everything just to be like, no, here it is. This is the, the 70th time this year you've done it again. Uh, and to be fair, they were disgraceful as a publication today. Front page was about Thomas Tuchel and his new girlfriend. Like, bore off. It's his private life. He can do what he wants. The back page was about us. Um, it was very invasive, very unnecessary. It was it, um, just bad reporting, bad headlines, lazy journalism, not factual. I mean, I'm running out of adjectives. Just throw all the bad ones in. Just, just mm-hmm. rip half. But the we know how the, it, throw it, we know. know how the sun is is felt on Merseyside. Obviously, after Hillsborough, etc. Uh, it is not a good newspaper. It's 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 trash. And as a lot of people commented under the video today, um, you know, it, it's it, it, the only use for the sun is wiping your ass. But I wouldn't even do that. I mean, the the, the pain for one, I couldn't take that shit. Um, mm. Literally. Um, but it's just a, a disgusting way to uh, to put it. Uh, and Mark says, I'm in disbelief. Newcastle are always talking about staying up on the story, staying on the right side of FFP. Uh, and Everton have just signed their third player and they're supposed to be in the shit. Uh, WTF is going on. Um, well, Everton, of course, as we talked about the other night when the FFP show seemed to be getting away with Blue Murder, as long as, you know, along with other clubs as well. Um, mm-hmm. Everton should have been punished, in my opinion, last season. Um, but they haven't, and we just have to move on. But listen, as long as my club stays on the right side of FFP, that's all that's important to me. I don't care about the other clubs. Um, you know, we're doing it right. This loan is basically based on uh, what our revenue is coming in at the end of the yeah. season. You know, we'll have new sponsors, etc. cetera. Um, that's what other clubs do as well. They, they, you know, so forget what the sun says. It's 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 absolute bollocks anyway. It really is. We also about need to be careful. People yeah, are saying on. about this, wouldn't work their arse on the sun. Don't do it because it puts more shit on it, it takes off. So that's, <laughs> that's out the window. Starters. Absolutely, Billy. Good point. And and another point is uh, the, the bank thing. We've just moved from Barclays. Obviously, Amanda had a massive, um, quite well sort of seen court case mm-hmm. against our, our last bank, Barclays, yeah. last summer. Um, and that's just a case we've, we've moved banks now. And now we've, we finally have an overdraft loan, overdraft uh, option that's available to us now. So it's just common practice. Yeah. Nothing to what I report about. That's for certain. Yeah. And, and that's for the certain. I wouldn't. I seriously wouldn't have it in the house. I've not. I'm not had that paper in thirty years, and neither will I. It's it's just not a newspaper anymore. Mm. Anyway, I'd just Never like to mention it. this loan as well, specifically. Um, yeah. A lot. Just of two seconds are... before you do, Alex. We just had a twenty pound super chat coming from Ian Han. Uh, thanks very much, Ian. Uh, he says good evening, everyone. Oh, and by the way, uh, at the end of the show, this will be up for grabs again. Uh, because it still hasn't been claimed. Um, so we are doing another members draw. So if you're not a member yet, get joined up uh, into the Toon Review family and you have a chance of winning this uh, vintage Newcastle United shirt with the good old Brunel sign on the bottom. Uh, oh, sorry, on the front. Uh, I have uh, bad memories from last week of looking at that logo, to be honest. Um, <laughs> yes, we you know. Yeah, indeed. Uh, but there you go. That will be up for grabs at the end. And of course... If you do like tonight's show, uh, please hit that like button. And uh, if you're new to the channel like what you see, also hit that subscribe button. We've had over 200 subscribers in less than 20, sorry, in less than 48 hours, which is absolutely incredible. So thank you very much for that. Uh, We are continuing to grow very, very rapidly. Uh, We are the number one uh, viewed Newcastle United channel for live shows, which again is down to you guys out there. It is fantastic. Um, and also, if you'd like to donate to the show, like uh, some good people already have tonight, as usual, you can hit that dollar sign at the bottom of the live comments, and it will take you through that way. Uh, go on, Alex. Yeah, a, a few people j- just just to dispel a few myths here. We don't know what the money's for. Um, uh, well, I d- I don't know what the money's for. So there are a few a few people who know money who are reporting about, as Billy said, about overdrafts and things like that. There were a few people suggesting it's deliberately for transfer kitty. Uh, we're not sure. So just be careful about what you think it's for and what you think it's not for. We don't know. There's been no clarity from any uh, like official official sources. There are, there are some in the nose and some well-connected people who seem to, you know, because it, when it's money, it's generally a bit easier to, to navigate um, than transfers. Money, you can tend to 
you know follow trails and things but yeah don't get sucked in too much by publications reporting oh it's deliberately for a striker or it's for this we don't know yet so just mm -hmm. hold it's fire a with that it's a cash um, injection isn't it that's what yeah, it is right so now so. It's, we're just mm -hmm. borrowing against guaranteed income mm -hmm. we don't know what the club's plans exactly are for it so yeah. uh michael marsden thank you for your 1799 super chat mate uh hi paul danielle billy and alex hope you're all well uh, we are indeed uh, looking forward to seeing Michael tomorrow. He's actually picking me up for the game. Uh, mm -hmm. I haven't had to listen to me ramble and on all game. afternoon. So uh, uh, I appreciate him <laughs> listening to my rambling on. Uh, we're still going on uh, regarding what I was rambling on about, but uh, he's, he's a good he's a good egg, is Michael. Uh, in, in fact, he's an incredible egg. Um, Jimmy M, thank you for becoming a new member of the Tune Review. Uh, welcome to the family, my friend. Um, now, uh, of course, uh, Eddie Howe has come out and spoke about Matty Bonswell as well today um, and said that he was very impressed with him, Billy. Um, do you think he'll be around the first team squad or, or do you think it's just sort of he's sort of giving him an opportunity to see what, the, what it's like and, and just say that this is what you can achieve, uh, you know, if you put your head down and really work? Well, firstly, he didn't look out of place at all, did he? He looked absolutely mm -hmm. superb, I thought, at left-back. The only time he went missing was for the goal, but who knows where he was, maybe up the pitch. But he's a young lad. He's got lots of potential. Yeah. Bags of pace, looks very strong. Um, I think we'll see him around the first team squad, perhaps for League Cup games, that kind of thing. Um, and he doesn't take up a squad place. Maybe go on loan later in the window. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it looks a real, and quite right for Eddie Howard to praise him, because I thought he was outstanding on Tuesday night. He was. Yeah. Really he was, impressive. he was great. Like you say, Billy, he didn't seem out of place. He just he kept his composure and um, just he, he was bobbing down that left hand side, really, yeah. and and didn't sort of get caught out of position too much. I think there was only once he did, um, mm. possibly for the goal, actually. Um, yeah. But you know what it is. Uh, he's a very young We're kid. A man man first... We can't blame him for that. No, nah, not no, at all. Exactly. I thought he was, I thought he was excellent, and it's. It, you know, I said in the video earlier today, it's, it's exciting that these kids are coming through and I think it'll excite Eddie Howe as well. Mm -hmm. You know, all the money that they're going to plough into the academy as well, we can only, these players can only grow stronger um, with better mm -hmm. academy players coming in as well. Um, and we've not needed a hack really out of eggs, so, you know. Sorry? So I was speaking about eggs, hatching we out of eggs. Have you seen the Longstaff quote from today? No. Uh, no? Oh, so this is brilliant. I, f I found this. I've, I've written it down. It's all about when Hal first came in that they, they he stood up and did like a timeline of his life and talked about his dog and showed pictures and everything within five or six yeah. days of being there. Yeah. Um, and then after about a week being there, I'll read it so I don't butcher it. So this is this is Sean Longstar's words. He said he'd been at the club for about a week when he came to me and said I, he hadn't realised I was out of contract in the summer. Um, and he helped me through that period. He's the first manager I've had multiple conversations with on the phone. Everything he says, I trust. Everything he tells me to do, I'll do because I believe it's going to make me a better footballer. So that's from Sean Longstaff. That is, that is a really nice quote. Um, it is lovely to hear from one of our one of our own lads. You know, but to be honest, this is what the guys, um, this is what the Bournemouth fans said when you know they, they mm -hmm. were coming on the channel when uh, we first got Eddie Howe. Said he's a real uh, man manager, and he, he, you know he, he will look after his players. So I think it's. Um, it's absolutely incredible. Uh, it really is to, to to know that he's he's doing this with the players. Uh, and I think, you know, we can only get excited about the future. Uh, and, and then these idiots that, that have all said, oh, Eddie, how out all of this crap, oh. you know, need to take a need, need to read that a couple of times and get it into the thick skulls. You know that this is a man who will take the club forward. Um, Francisco Javier Ruiz. Uh, Ruiz, thank you very much for becoming a new member. Um, you sound like you're Mexican, possibly, or Costa Rican. I, I better not say just in case I start a war again. Yeah, don't uh, do but it. Thank you mm -hmm. for becoming a new member of the channel, matey. Uh, welcome to the family. And Keith Dice, thank you for your ten dollars super chat. Uh, as always, much appreciated, my friend. Uh, he says excited for this year, regardless of any new transfer happenings. Um, Jed says uh, hi, guys. Uh, don't know if you remember when I told you about my son died a month ago. Uh, just like to say thanks for keeping me sane this last few months. Uh, great shows, great content. Thank you very much, Jed. Um, and I hope you're keeping your head up, mate. I know it's very, very difficult time for you at the minute, but uh, thank you very much. And uh, you know, we're always going to be here, so uh, you can continue your um grieving, of course, but we'll try and keep you, your head above water, mate. And if you ever need to reach out, you know where we are. Indeed. Um, 
Michael says, uh, hello, everyone. Let's hope we can get a striker in. I think this loan is going to help us big time. Happy days. Um, well, we may as well start looking at a player, Alex. And you have Julian Draxler. Yeah, so Julian, Julian. I'm guessing it's Julian, isn't it? Because it's Julian Brandt. So this well, is I've Julian just, Draxler. I, I've just said it right, so there you go. Yeah, well done. Um, <laughs> so he's... Uh, about to turn 29 years old, so it's still 28 for, for, for a couple of months. Oh, by um, the way, Francisco is from Puerto Rico. I was close. Well, I did, I did not. It's Costa, Costa Rica. It's Costa Rica, isn't it? Not Costa Rico. Anyway, get on with Alex. <laughs> I'll stop mumbling. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, this guy's been around the block. He's been around for a very long time. Was a wonder kid. Now, now he's, you know, he's, he's nearly in his 30s. But So, still 28 for the time being. Um, six foot two, reasonably well built. So he's a bit of a unit. He's not he's not a tiny, tricky winger like we've been looking at in recent weeks. Um, can play in a multitude of positions. To be completely honest, is it, this is PSG for you? Uh, so minutes wise, he's not had a lot. Just over five hundred minutes and a little bit in the Champions League. He's not really had a sniff. I mean, in his defence, he's had Di Maria, who's left, uh, Icardi, Mbappe, Messi, Neymar. Like Callum Wendo obviously went out on loan, didn't get any minutes. Like this guy is just, it's not, it's really not his fault. Um, they're just hoarding all the talent. So you get a lot of players, you know, we know, we know, obviously, know Kabai went there, Ben Arthur went there. A lot of people went there and just rotted on the bench and don't get progressed yeah. or played. Um, so very, very experienced, calm, cool head. For people that have looked at this preemptively or for people looking at it right now, uh, this doesn't look incredible um, in terms of stat output. But uh -huh. you've got to look a bit deeper with him. So he's missing a bit of the sort of um, progressive uh, progressive statistics in terms of progressing the ball by a uh, ball carrying or with passing, um, because basically, and he doesn't he doesn't need to do any pressures either, because PSG have like a hundred percent possession all the time. So a lot of these a lot of this data is a little bit skewed. You've got to take it with a pinch of salt. Uh, but what he does do, he does extremely well. He's very efficient and concise with the ball. Um, his pass completion, as you can see, is in the 99th percentile. Mm -hmm. uh, his successful pressures. So I think if we if we open up the scout report, we can actually see some of the nicey nicies in here. Uh, so all the passing is beautiful, very very nice. Uh, and there is a, one specific thing I love here, which is passes under pressure. Um, so to have somebody who could play in an attacking role or a wing role, and who can do that, so passes under pressure. Being so cool, cool, calm, and collected is what we need. Um, very much an Eddie Howell thing. It's very much a Bruno thing as well. Just he doesn't care who's running at him. If he's on the ball, it's his ball. Doesn't care. Not giving the ball away. He'll do a nice tidy pass out of yeah. danger. Um, he's also for his pressures. So even though his defensive statistics are very low, so everything's really low here. But if you take a look at his successful pressure percentage, when he is asked to press, he's in the 99th percentile. So mm -hmm. This is what I meant by the initial statistics are a little bit of a, they're a bit misguided. If you actually look when he when he's required to do something, he's very, very good at it. Um, so he's very, very slept on in terms of his quality. A lot of people are sort of glossing over this as, oh, he might be over the hill. He's not quite good enough for PSG. He's a very, very, very good player. Incredible yep. talent. Mm -hmm. um, you can see get lots of touches, touches all across the pitch. Um yeah, one thing, I, one thing I do want you to, want you to share, Alex, is this um, kind of hoodoo that people have about him being injured all the time. Um, mm. Do you want to put his injuries up on the screen? Uh, uh, yeah, we'll have to go to uh, to transfer marks, but we can we can do that transfer. We'll have a little look because I think people will get a quite a surprise. I think it's in my Google Doc, but that's on my other screen. Let's bring it up so everybody can see properly. Oh, valued at 18 million. To be fair, some of the reports have been suggesting 17, 18 million in the papers um, and sort of the rumor sites. So not too bad. Would you expect it to be much more than that because it's us? Um, well, it's the initial quoted price, so the worst they'll do is reject it, I guess. Um, mm. I mean, it, it, there might not be truth in the links. It's who knows. Mm -hmm. um, um, just before you go through the injuries, uh, Mick Lingard, thank you very much for your twenty pound super chat as well, my friend. Uh, he says, even and all, would love to see Sheshko at the tune. 
Uh, I think a lot of people would. Uh, well, yeah, there I'm, you go, I'm Alex. So happy. Injuries... I, um, yeah. I just want to say, Shishko, as well. I'm so happy I went so, like, obviously, I, I was bigging him up a lot because I loved him. I love what he did in the Austrian Bundesliga. And now, in the last yeah. week, everybody's like, oh my God, he's really good. I'm like, yeah, I know. I told you he's really good. Mm-hmm. Some of the Liverpool game. Oh my God. Go and watch, if you haven't seen it, watch the highlights of that Liverpool game. He single handedly tore them apart on his own. <laughs> that little wow. touch that took him past uh, Andrew Robertson on, on the on the Oh on the, my, what, God. Flank. It, oh my God. It's he's like 19 and he tore Liverpool yeah. on his own completely apart. It, it's it's like watching a six foot four Garincha. Seriously. It's God. crazy. It's like watching um, Kraus, uh, Crouch with Messi's feet. <laughs> it is. It, it was, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? It, it's bizarre. T- the touch for a big man is is Benjamin Sheshko. Uh, that is why that was that, that phrase was made for him to yeah. be born into because he's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, yeah in, injury me. for Draxler. Uh, so for some reason, don't worry about it. They've they've double they've double posted his his injury here from his muscle yeah. injury. So this is not yeah. this this is one injury. So it's really not that bad. Uh, he had a knee injury uh, last season, which he has recovered from. He had a he had a muscle injury as well, so he had a couple of he had a couple of injuries that were a little bit more serious last last season. But there, there's nothing to suggest he wouldn't be able to recover from that at the moment. Mm. Um, it, again, it depends on the style he he would be he would be asked to play with. Um, if we're going to go for this kind of signing, he's not going to be a pace merchant anyway. So we wouldn't need to think oh, well, maybe he's lost a bit of pace because that's not how he was playing anyway. He was playing kind of how we saw Miggy floating around a bit, using space, being more intelligent. That would be how he would be used. He wouldn't be doing crazy fast overlap, speedster, young person stuff. Um, He would be a lot more sort of, a lot more experienced, a lot more technical. Um, So it's it's not, it's not too bad. It's manageable. Um, if his minutes are managed as well because he's not in the side every week people automatically think oh he must be injured and he's, yeah. he's not um dougie morris thank you very much for becoming a new member my friend welcome to the tune review uh welcome to the members club family um lawrence has also put here that uh even and all apparently we are in strong talks with pulisic now i really? heard that earlier on but I'm, I'm not really paying any attention to it until it Gets yeah. more traction, but we've been uh, linked with might... Hudson Adoy, yeah, Brozier, uh, Werner, and Pulisic. So we've been linked with four Chelsea forwards hey, listen, in the same go, window. Yeah, but go, go for Pulisic, Werner, and Hudson Adoy. Get them three in. Transfer window sorted for me. I mean, yeah, you, you, have, you have to buy them though. You can only, you can only loan one from each club, can't you? Yeah, All exactly. Well, we'll, we'll loan one and buy two. Well, right. we'll get one free. Well, exactly. Yeah. You know, it's a three for two deal. I reckon, I reckon Chelsea would be up for that. Takes massive. I'm just going to check off. on my dog because I'm pretty sure she's just missed the last two steps of the stairs. So I'm going to make sure she's okay. Oh, no. One second. <clears throat> Aha. Okay. Um, Foxy says Ginger definitely tweeted the owners. I reckon. Oh God. Uh, Dominic says uh, we should tag the owners with a big apology for all the Muppets giving them a hard time uh, letting them know 99% of the true supporters are behind She's them uh, that's good news I mean uh, don't get us wrong I do honestly believe that the majority of these people aren't Newcastle fans and that that idiot's just stirring up the fan base and hopefully that's what it is but for anyone who genuinely thinks that's okay then give your head a wobble please yeah absolutely uh, Peter good evening matey uh Thoughts on the new away kit? I'm really liking it, but I think I will go to the club shop this time and purchase it. You're uh, right you there, know, well, Same. Pete, I think mm-hmm. we'll all be doing that tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow, matey. Um, be good to see everybody after the summer break. Uh, Trolls, thank you for your 20 Norwegian kroner. I'm not sure why that didn't show up on my list, but uh, thank you very much anyway for your massive continued support of the channel. Uh, really do appreciate that. Top man. Uh, Malcolm says, "Perfect signings must we must make is Sheshko and Paqueta if gods are willing." Um, Darren I think says, you know- Sheshko, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'm sorry to interrupt, but do you remember what happened with Nunez when he just kept on scoring and scoring and scoring, and his price went through the roof? Mm. This mm. is happening right now with Sheshko, like, which might be an op- which might be why we need to go in now and not. Mm. It might be too late. 
Man United are already sniffing after this performance no, against Liverpool. Shit about Man United. Alex, I don't, they're Alex, in, I don't they're, like they're, this they're, negativity on a Thursday, mind. Yeah, no, they've no. got nobody, man. Nobody <laughs> at Man United. I think, I think we needed Christ. a we needed Not a hard bid like <laughs> two weeks ago. Um, I think we need to be creative. Let's let's buy him and loan him back for the season. Uh, I I think he's I I no I wouldn't loan him back. I'd use him. We well, ain't gonna get him otherwise. Mm. Well, no, no, that is true. That is very true. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's, Gary it's says, be, uh, you know, given Paul, away. Paul, you sounded just like Sean Connery. You're a shite for sure, eyes. Yes, indeed. A uh, for sure Tiger says, Paquetta wants to go to City. Uh, well, he can jog on them. Oh, Tiger, I don't know what you've been on the last told you that, Tiger? Eh? Who's told Tiger that? There, there was an article. It was, it was a French paper that published that he doesn't want to go to Arsenal or, or Newcastle and he wants to go to X, been, Y and Z clubs. Wait and see. Um, and it was a nonsense article. Like, you can't just believe... It's weird how you believe, like, random mm. half publications from France and Italy, but you don't believe us. Um, I don't know actually what's going on with Tiger. He's been very, very uh, negative the last few days. Yeah, uh, but it's, it's His opinions, and he's welcome to them. Yeah. Uh, George says, sport. hi, great show. Uh, taking my five-year-old to his first match on Saturday, oh, hoping for hello. a win. Nice one, Will Georgia. You? Bring him along to say hello. Um, Foxy says, maybe Paquetta is happy in Leon. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a beautiful city, to be fair. It is. Uh, weather's nice, you know, just why wouldn't you want to stay in Leon? But you never know. You I'd, never go, know. I'd go to Leon. Would you go to Leon? I'd, I'd well go, go there. I'd, 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 mm -hmm. Yeah, would Tiger would Tiger go to Lyon? I'm in Lyon. <laughs> I'll, I'll get I'll get me coach, Lyon. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh my God, Billy Tree. <laughs> um, but there's a positive one from Tiger. The away oh. shirt looks tasty. Indeed, yeah, it, it does. does. Mm. Uh, what do you prefer, the third or away? I love the third. I don't think that you know the third, third. kit is just glorious. And the fact that it seems to fit everybody that buys it is a, is another good point. Mm. Um, uh, Aegis says, I remember when uh, Twatter was launched, I signed up for a grand total of a week after constantly being harassed by the back bedroom warriors. Welcome yeah. to the club, AJ. Uh, they're irrelevant. Ooh, My life is so much better without Twitter. Yeah, honestly, look, so much better. Yeah, they're, they're irrelevant, so, you know, whatever. Um uh, Josh says, I think they might be uh, my favourite of the three. Of course, talking about the blue strip. Uh, what's the story with Werner? Um, listen, we don't know. We don't know. Uh, but hopefully, listen, I, I would love Werner at Newcastle. Some people have had a go at me saying, oh, he didn't out for Chelsea. But look. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. But what? I, I, I don't get it. 1,200 minutes, man. Hamza Chowdhury, 12 Hamza months Chaudhry? ago. Yes. Timo Werner. 12 months later, Come on, man. where do you want to be? Where do you want to be? For the love of God. For the love of God. Absolutely. Uh, Peter says, uh, this kit is mint. It is. Uh, Vitamins is going to be on the road tomorrow. Looking forward to listening to your commentary of the game. Yes, Mr. Uh, Billy Coleman will be... Uh, <laughs> remarkable. <laughs> remarkable. Uh Kevin says, I like the new away shirts. People are already mourning about it on Twitter. Give us strength. Oh, oh let them mourn, Kevin. Seriously, let them mourn. They're you know, all these... getting arthritis then. You know, it, it doesn't matter, warriors. right? It, it, it doesn't matter what they would have done. How do right? we moan about the away kit, though? It doesn't... We could have had the greatest away kit in the world, which I believe we still have, but um, they would have mourned. It doesn't they matter mourn, what they would do. They will mourn. You know, and it, it, God, I don't know what these people do for a life. I think they're just, just like mourning, like being Mr. Victor friggin' Meldrew. Like being miserable about things. What do you I don't believe it. They brought a bloody blue strip out. How dare they? <laughs> Christ on a bike. Uh, James, uh, good evening from the Cayman Islands. I uh, hope you're well, my friend. Uh, Rossi says, want to thank you guys for keeping us entertained over the close season, as it's normally like pulling teeth waiting for next season. But you guys have been great. Keeping us entertained. Thank you very much, Rossi. Uh, we are here all year. Um, you know, obviously, holidays yeah. and that, but, you know, there'll be somebody presenting anyway. Um, Why are you going on holiday like? Sorry? Are you going on holiday like? I'm not going on holiday. Are you no. going on holiday? No. I've got the money to go on holiday kidding? for a start. I've, mm. I've got... Well, 
basically Michael knows all my uh, <laughs> today. I was like when I've been out with Ben and I've been texting Mike oh, just moaning him. because I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, and you know, but oh. hey ho. Um, it, 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 I broke something. Let's just put it that way. I broke something, and I'm I'm very unhappy about it. But what have you broke? I, I can't even go into it, Danielle, because I'll get too emotional, right? Oh, my God. What I'm, I, I'm trying to sort it, but nobody is. I'll message you later, because I need to know. Well, it's it's nothing urgent. I mean, it, it, it could be my big toe for all that matters. It doesn't really... No, because you would have said know. it a million times if it had been your broken toe. No, I wouldn't. I yeah, never, would. ever, ever <laughs> twist when I am poorly. I never complain. I am a professional. I came on here and presented a show when I had COVID, remember? Mm. So there's no need for that. <laughs> After I've been so supportive of you and your alcohol problem, <laughs> honestly, uh, <laughs> Janos, is que- <laughs> Janos is question for the panel. Uh, why are there worries we can't attract a striker because of Wilson being first choice? West Ham have got a striker in who will play second fiddle to Antonio. Oh, I'm not sure he will actually, but mm. having said that, I'd just like to say that there has been a lot of people um, sort of commenting me saying, you know, fair enough. Chris Wood is shite and have a real go at him. Callum Wilson hasn't really done anything pre-season either. No, he hasn't. If we're being openly honest, he, he hasn't. Alex, you can smirk all you want, right? But he hasn't. The problem's been that Callum Wilson has received Chris Wood type serves and Chris Wood's received Callum, Callum Wilson type serves. Exactly that. All right, that yes. I was exactly come on. I... Shut yeah. up a minute, Alex. Don't you go all... Yeah, exactly, Billy. Exactly. Billy's point. Yeah, Billy's right. He I is know right. he is. And I was going to come on to the point of uh, if you'd have let me speak, Alex, before you put on your bloody Meldrew face again, right? <laughs> what I was going to say was he hasn't had the service because he hasn't been in the right 11. Callum Wilson and certain other players are not in the right 11. They're playing in the wrong 11. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm sure had Callum Wilson had the service that Chris Wood had the other night, he would have bagged a, a couple of goals. Having said that, I think he should have made more of an effort to get the Miggy's little sort of shot come across. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. okay. I actually, somebody put in the comments of my video today that the thing Callum Wilson is, haul, how can I put this, hauling a bit of timber? What? He's ripped. Really? Um, is there some tight shorts, Paul? Yeah, when, well, he's got did, abs. Did, did, did you see Callum Wilson like... in Austria with his top off? I mean, listen, I'm no homosexual man, but my God, I and mean, he's were, ripped. If, he, it's a clear, surfboard. If you, you were, want... that would be okay, just for you know the snowflakes. And stuff. Absolutely, but mm-hmm. you know, I Probably understand. Jeans. But the seas carrying a bit of timber. I think Jesus, what, what was that, Billy? Coventry jeans. Keep saying it. We've all got the same Coventry (laughs) jeans. Alex, that was a sly little laugh there. Would you like to make a comment on that? (laughs) Unfortunately, the Germans (laughs) exploded in morning. (laughs) No, he wouldn't. (laughs) (laughs) With the cathedral. God almighty. Uh, Warren says, uh, evening, Paul, Danielle, Alex and Billy. Hope everyone is well. Can't wait to be back at St. James's Park tomorrow and Saturday. uh, Miss the match days. Uh, Absolutely. (laughs) Marty, thank you for your £5 super sticker, my friend. Very kind. Uh, Anthony says this strip reminds me of Wimbledon. No, it's probably right. a better comparison. Yeah. That. yeah. yeah. That, that, that's more like it, Billy. Not bloody Everton. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Dennis Ward, there, Dennis, Ward, had, Dennis Ward's with Vinnie Jones now. No, yeah, in oh, fact, I'll, I'll go even further, Billy, and say you've had a story. She was like, oh, why is... But she she didn't understand the Wimbledon, Milton Keats. She, I had to do all that. And, oh, no. Oh, God. That, that, yeah, that, it took that, ages. That's a tough but one why to is for... but Wimbledon? But Milton is not in London. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's horrible. Uh, Stotty fifty five. Thank you for your four pound forty nine super chat, my friend. And he says, got my shirts last week. Ordered the wrong size, and both fit. Ooh, very there good. Go. That almost never happens, does it? Uh, Knight of Knee Gaming says, Billy, hang your head in shame, ever Tony. Oh, I've gone Wimbledon now. Wimbledon now. Oh, yes, so you've changed to Wimbledon right? Okay. Even That's the yellow. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Toonami says chippers want to go to the strip club after the game. Hey, don't oh, you start God. annoying, get, getting on about bloody that kind yeah, of crap. Yeah, before the game. Yeah, 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 
<laughs> yeah, Chippers does live above one, apparently. Uh, not buying another shirt until I get the third strip I ordered a month ago, says DS. Don't blame you. Uh, Chris says, would love to see or hear uh, of the amounts of viewers the games so far on the website have been getting in pre-season, especially these two home games yeah, on top of the crowd. Uh, well, if the channel's viewers are anything to go by, uh, a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, Zishan, thank you for another 899, my friend. Uh, massive donate to the channel. Thank you, Zishan. Uh, he says, I think me and dad should respond to the trolls by telling them, tweet us again and we'll send you to Saudi. Trust me, the trolls will stop. <laughs> I don't think um, that's going to do public relations not. any good, though, Zishan, no, to be fair. No. <laughs> you know, we, we try to improve the image of Saudi, and I think that's what they're wanting. Uh, you know, for me and dad to come and say, we'll send you to Saudi. Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, Although, if it's going to be in this new wall, nine million person mega city, then that looks quite interesting. Did you see that? That's incredible. Mm. It does God. look like it's from a video game, but that is amazing. Yeah. Uh, evening, Tony. Hope you're well. Uh, Tony, of course, uh, one of John Sinclair's new co hosts and has made a, a huge uh, um, boost to Impact. that channel. Uh, Tony's mm. knowledge of Newcastle United is fantastic. Um, and he's doing a fantastic job on John's channel, so well done. Um, the scum is just drivel on a newspaper. It's not even a yes. newspaper. Uh, I'll be getting my away shirt tomorrow. If there's any left in the club shop, we'll not be buying it online after the recent shambles with the third shirt. You can just oh, see what's going to happen tomorrow, though, Danielle. Mm-hmm. All the Newcastle fans turn up. Oh, we've just got a new member there. Sully, or Sowley, thank you very much. Or Sowley, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the Members Club, my friend. Uh you know, Danielle, I was just saying there that, you know, thousands of fans are turning up for the preseason games. And you just got, you just, you just mm. know, you're going to walk mm. into the Castoria shop and they will just not have enough stock. Yeah. You can, because yeah. again, they mm-hmm. won't calculate the numbers. They won't realise. And that's, yeah. that's my worry that Alex is going to come up and be disappointed. I'm You'd driving to up go... tomorrow morning and I don't have any of the new kids. You'd have to go to the Metro Centre on Saturday. Or... You have to go to the Metro Centre if you can't get one. I don't know. I'm tempted to specifically leave a bit earlier just to get there for the for when the the club Aww. shops. When when is it? Ten a.m. Yes, yeah, ten a.m. In the, yeah. So I'll probably get there after midday. But I, I could leave earlier. But I think you'd be like, fine they, at midday, properly, Alice. I think you'd be fine at that time. They mate. should stock properly. They, well, if if I get there at midday and they're out, then that's been mismanaged, and that that'll ooh. be a shame. Oh, there'll be hell on. Uh, we just need to pause a moment. Mrs. Toon Reviews in the house. <laughs> uh, and uh, thank you, Carl Freeburn, for your £6.10 super chat. That never gets old. Uh, never fails, Carl. Christ, Alex, you've had a few... Ca- <laughs> he says, Christ, Alex, you've had a canny few Amazon Prime deliveries with all them boxes. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Oh. That's I mean, it. I, I don't think anybody has a background like yours, Alex, to be fair, <laughs> on, across the whole of YouTube. Uh, you know what it's like? It's like watching Philip Schofield in the broom cupboard on uh, like children's uh, BBC back in the day. I used to love that with Gordon the gopher. Yeah, Aww. you just you just need a gopher just sticking his head up beside you, mate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, by, but by the way, Alex, good news. Uh, the thumbnail for TTR Fridays has now changed to your shades again. Oh. So just go and let you know that. But of course, there will be no TTR Friday tomorrow uh, mm-hmm. because obviously we are playing and Yay. Billy will be doing a watch along. Um, but uh, we'll be doing a watch along Saturday as well. Um, we'll possibly have a show Saturday night to review the games. If not, we'll do it Sunday night. But Sunday night as well, guys, we are going to do the Premier League predictions as well. Um, so there you go. Are that we doing will, the golden uh... envelope or not? Golden envelope? Oh my god, like do I speak French? Have I missed something? Yeah, yes. that's fan- that's Spanish. You know, we're going to all make proper predictions and then put them in an envelope and then at the end uh, of the season... Yes, we will. Of course we will, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Mine will probably be a white envelope, though, because I don't have a gold one. That's all right. We're going to just pretend it's gold. Yeah, Mm -hmm. absolutely. Uh, George says, can't wait for tomorrow on Saturday. Five-hour drive from Hertfordshire in the morning. Uh, Been too long since I've stepped foot in the promised land. Uh, well, enjoy it, George. And if you see us, come and say hello. Just standing by, right by the Jackie Milburn stand next to the club shop. Come and say hello. Um, Kevin says the sun should be scrapped from public view. Mm-hmm. I agree. Um, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, says Gary. Absolutely. We've got 
nearly 1,100 people watching. So thank you very, very much for that again. Absolutely cracking viewing figures. If you are new, please do subscribe. Uh, there are still a lot of people out there who are watching this channel and haven't hit that button yet. So it is free to do so. Please do hit the subscribe button and, of course, the notification bell, which will let you know when we upload or go live, which is practically every day of the week. Uh, and we bring you all sorts of fun and laughter and banter, of course, on Newcastle United. Um and also, if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can by hitting the dollar sign at the bottom of the live comments, and that will take you through that way. And you can also become a member, because we have a member's draw tonight for this uh, wonderful uh, retro Newcastle United shirt. Uh, doesn't matter if it's not your size, you can frame it or just have it there just to remember the, the good old days. Uh, and of course, we do have a website available where you can pick up your merch, which is right here. So let's get down, let's get down to business. <laughs> So there you go, the tunereview.co.uk is your place to go for merch. Uh, by the way, we have had a delivery today from the supplier, so uh, we will be starting to ship out tomorrow uh, for those of you that have ordered over the last couple of weeks. Um, Warren says the son of a disgrace, uh, Paul, and all the other lazy journalists are a bunch of MBEs. Uh, he means monumental bell ends. Uh, all need to take their faces for a massive shit. Indeed, they do. Couldn't uh, say that. Right. Mm -hmm. next, <laughs> next player on the board, Alex, is Kamaladine Suleimana. Yeah, a little Kamaladine. So, this is a big favorite of mine. Uh, hadn't seen him play much uh, until like right at the end of the season. Um, but obviously for Rene, they they did uh, they did rather well. They had a very good season, um, and th this so this is essentially just just to clarify really early on. If I scroll down, you can see why I like this kid. Similar players has got Ben Rama, Zahar, Pedro, Brahim Diaz, Blas. It's got Maxi at the bottom as well. So this is Dribbly Boy. Does all the mm -hmm. dribbles. Um, dribbly, <laughs> dribbly boy. The, the, the drib <laughs> he's I'm sure arguably love a like that. <laughs> arguably could be dribblier than Maxi, and I'll show in a minute why. So uh a thousand minutes in League Gun, got some conference league minutes as well, did okay, yeah. four goals, two assists. Yeah, uh, but it's more about his ball carrying and his threat that is outrageous. So if we scroll down and have a look at stats, so dribbles completed in the 99th percentile at 4.43. It's only 0 0.06 less than Max's is. Uh, progressive carries is through the roof as well. It's actually higher than Max's, I believe. Um, strangely high tackle numbers for somebody in his position. So he's just a bit of a monster, really. Uh -huh. Tidy with the passes as well. Um, scored a few. His shot creating actions is very high at 3.9 per 90, which is higher than Max's. So if I drag my, I'll drag my Google document onto the screen so people can see. I made this little graph. Uh, let's move it over here so we can see it a bit better. So when I was doing some some research on this kid, so this is a little graph where I, I popped in our, our other wingers at the club. Uh, so you can see his shot creating actions are better than anybody else at the club. Uh, he's barely, marginally worse than Maxi at dribbling. Um, shots, we need to increase our shot volume. He's getting more shots than the others as well. And his carries are way better. It's double most of what our other wingers are getting. So he's good in the right areas. And he started at a club called Right to Dream in Ghana, which, I, as you can see, my notes I've written is amazing. So I absolutely love that. Yeah. Had a little bit of a back injury, um, which is why he only played a thousand minutes and his age as well. Uh, 11 caps for Ghana. So should be able to get him registered, no problem. Uh, and he's only 20. So he is only 20. And he's very good at his ball recovering. He's very good at his pressing. Um, let me drag this back off screen so we can see. Um, but he is an absolute... It just dribbly boy, absolute monster. Uh, the problem is he does play left wing, right footed left wing, so it is in Maxi's position, unless we want to kind of wiggle things around a bit. But my dream in life is to see Maxi and him play on the same pitch at the same time because the defenders mm -hmm. are just going to tie their laces and knots and all fall over each other. Because yeah. you can't triple mark both of them on opposite wings, it's going to be brilliant. So, yeah, uh, the, the links are a bit soft, but you know, you can dream. Uh, but this is just a the progression is just 
all through carrying the ball. Just just sort of your natural, almost uh, almost sort of Latin American when you think about it. It's just ball at feet, look up, run. You get that ball forwards through technical ability and dribbling. And that's what he loves. And he and he's rather fast as well. So he's it is a bit of a pace merchant, which um yeah. would give us a bit of an extra feature because Miggy's energetic but not quite as nippy as he was. Fraser's not very nippy anymore. Murphy's arguably not going to be used very much. So a bit of pace as well. Uh, wouldn't go amiss. So I love this signing. I would absolutely love it. But mm-hmm. again, quite soft link. So we'll see where it goes. He likes a lost cause as well. He chases lost causes. I love players that will chase anything. And he does. Yeah, He'll chase anything to the nth degree. And sometimes they're not lost causes. Um, and he tackles too. Likes to tackle. He does. I've got a question for Alex. Oh, if he signs, are you going to get dribbly boy on the back of your shirt? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like dribbliest boy, definitely. Mm-hmm. Dribbliest Mint. boy. That, that well, that would take some explaining as well. If anybody says, Alex, <laughs> do you have a problem? Um, you know, <laughs> d- 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 drinking and dribbling. Um, yeah, uh, Susan answering Kevin's question is Susan, my wife. Uh, she is wife to be, uh, and she is the best woman in the world. Uh, who I love dearly. Um, Nathan says, I wanted uh, Bonswell to get a game against Cambridge last season. Glad to see he took his chance now. Um, I would have liked to have seen a few more kids in against Cambridge. Um, mm. So, you know, a long time ago now. Uh, bad memories. I know, I, I was starting game. to feel a bit funny talking about that game. Ooh. Well, yeah, many reasons, Danielle, uh, mm. that I had to explain, of course, to my two young kids. <laughs> um, I remember. Yeah, um, why there was a naked doll hit the, hit one of them on the back of the head, um, and why it had no clothes on, uh, and what the little markings were on the doll, uh, which was interesting. Um, Paul says I wanted to come up for the forest game, but I think I need I would need binoculars way up high. Looked yesterday. Uh, yeah, I also saw a comment from you earlier on, Paul, saying you couldn't get up tomorrow because you've booked to go and see Maverick. like a Tom Cruise fan yeah um Daniel Vero thank you very much for becoming a new member welcome to members club and also sbest666 welcome to the members club uh lots of new members signing up tonight thank you very much and uh, welcome to the family um kh says love the content mate much love thank you very much apocalyptic workshop that i always find that difficult but i always get it out Mm-hmm. The worst that is, Billy. Oh, I knew what was coming. You see, you walked into that mind. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I answered. I, I had to put a correct before he said it. I was very quick there. <laughs> uh, love Eddie Howe. Uh, feels great to finally have a manager we trust in going into the season. Um, one hundred percent. Troll says, as long as you don't get uh, too attached, we will need to change quite a few to get to the top five. In my opinion. Um, We're a million miles away from where we were in January, so I think people need to remember that. Uh, We're moving in the right direction, and uh, that's all we can ask for. Yeah, as long as... We've always said all along, well, the sensible people have, to be honest, that as long as we're moving in the right direction, as long as the club is showing ambition, what have we got to complain about, given what we've been through for the last 15 sodden years, Danielle? Nothing. Absolutely nothing to complain about. I just feel like we all did it, you know, when when the takeover went through and we all got overexcited and I was talking about signing everyone and like just take all the players from every team and stuff. I mean, you know, we're all we're, you're allowed to get carried away with mm-hmm. with with the fact that this has happened to us because it, you know, I mean, who would have guessed that it actually would have? Um, but you know, that in reality, I think it was never gonna be a case of going out and spending four hundred million or three hundred million in a window. Um, and it was always going to be slow and steady. So I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon and I'm still chilled till the 1st of September. I'm not worried. That, that, was, that, was, that was a shampoo talking, Danielle, wasn't it? Mm. <laughs> yes. And, you, hey. and, and, and that was chilled as well. Yes. <laughs> it was very chilled. Uh, yeah. Um, what I, I did want to discuss with you guys was um, uh, a conversation I heard on uh, <clears throat> Talk Sport yesterday. Um yeah. And it was um, Dean Saunders. And he's, he's, he's made a comment that Aaron Ramsey should oh, okay. sign for Newcastle United. Mm. It would be the perfect club for him to go to. Now, I struggle with that um, because Aaron Ramsey signed for Rangers in January when he was, he was very much linked with us. Um, 
many people said that he, he he was coming for a medical. There was there was sightings of him in Newcastle, etc. Uh, it never came to fruition. He ended up going to Rangers. Uh, it was a disaster. He hardly played. Um, and now Dean Saunders reckons he should sign for us, which I think is ludicrous. A, his wages were 400 grand a week at Juventus. And, you know, he's obviously going to want to get close to that again, even though I don't think he's worth that. He's a good player, don't get me wrong, but he's he's injured most of the time, Billy. Yeah, actually, if you, if you ask any Rangers supporters, the signing of Aaron Ramsey took their season way off track. Mm-hmm. They were way ahead, of, way ahead of Celtic when he signed. Whenever he played, he was horrendous. Celtic had one on the run, beat Rangers a couple of times in the process and ended up winning the league. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Not for us, not for us at all. Way past his best, way overweight looking at him. Um, it, it's it, Dean Taunt is right. We would be the perfect club for him. Unfortunately, he's not the perfect player for us next. Hmm. I mean, I, I don't think we'd, we'd um, pay his wages for a start, Danielle. 400 grand a week. Ridiculous. No. But we wouldn't pay two hundred grand a week for Christian Eriksen, would we? So we're not going to pay four hundred million for for him. So absolutely not. I just think it's million. a it's like a moot point. Yeah. You know. Evening, Jade. Um, what do you Jade. reckon, Alex? No, no, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> it was fine in January. It was a cur- It was a curious. Mm, I don't even know what the right word is. Curious prospect in January. But I, I don't think we need to go in that direction now. We're, we're quite we're quite well stacked in midfield. Mm-hmm. If we're going to buy a midfielder, I think everybody wants Paqueta anyway. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so I t- <laughs> it's just a non-starter. And I mean, the, the website I use to show everybody our FB ref. I've just loaded it up on Ramsey. He's not even played enough minutes in the last twelve months to 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 qualify for a statistical profile. In 12 months. Me. So no, that he's been out on low. And he, 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 it was possible for him to get more minutes. And he, he got yeah. 361 minutes at Rangers. It's not... I haven't seen enough. No. I, I, I might no, as well go in no, another it, direction. It's enough for me. We've I got mean, other priorities in other mean. positions as well. So yeah, why? Definitely. Um, a lot of people seeing in the comments about uh, Miggy's form, of course, during pre-season. And do we still need to look for a right winger? Um, yes. I think we do. Yeah. But it, it, it's Miggy's form is going to push him into the team somewhere. I think Eddie would be crazy to leave him out, to be honest, mm-hmm. given his I form. I think good for him. He's stepping up and fighting for his position. Good for him. That's what we wanted. And, you know, I hope. Or it, it could be that Eddie Howe's working with him that Steve Bruce didn't. Well, maybe it's both. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, most of the team were Bruce, let's be honest. Uh, I feel like Jimmy, even um, more the city was Bruce. Yeah, it was. Uh, Jimmy M, thank you for your two pound super chat, mate. He says, Hi, everyone. Just joined earlier. Love the show. Thank you very much, mate. Um, Dean says, Much love from Northumberland, guys. Can someone please give Mandy a bunch of flowers at the Forest game? Uh, I think that's me and dad's job, to be honest. Uh, Jed says, uh, Thanks for all the messages from the chat. Much love. You're very welcome, mate. No problem at all. Uh, one big family on this channel. Mark says, uh, the highlight of the pre-season for me has to be Alex's Mr. Wacker, Mr. Mac and Wacker moment. That will go down in history, probably <laughs> as the oh, um, dear me. as the moment of the year, really. Uh, you know, we're halfway through That's the gonna year That's going to be in the season review. Like, it is. It, is. The it will be. Year. Oh, there's no doubt about that. that it, basically, I think that's goal of the season before any goals have been scored, <laughs> um, to be quite honest with you. I, I, I'm really... It was just funny. I mean, my my <laughs> laugh I sounded like... Just wait and see like, if we sign a Polish player, stuff. then it'll be even funnier. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was just the way you said it. You looked so disgusted. Did you, you actually and, did. And, and angry. I um, was, because it was LaSalle we were just, talking about. Well, yeah, <laughs> it brings exactly. out in everybody. Uh, does the pro shirt not have embroidered badges? No, they don't. Um, no. They're stuck on. Uh, they're more Callum comfortable says, for the players, apparently. So Yes, mm-hmm. because it doesn't give you the... Um, the nipple rub, apparently. Yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, what about uh, Undav? I think he's done well in his loan. I don't know. Just going off FIFA. Who's Undav? Undav. German. German forward. Oh, Denny. Some... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. The... I've not seen anything of this guy. I've Union SG. I don't uh, know. He's apparently, he's at Brighton. Uh, Foxy says Undav scores goals for Brighton this season. No, he thinks he'd do well for Brighton. That's what he's saying. If so this guy is Brighton, did... okay. yeah. Oh, this is the... Okay, that's why. Yeah, he's at Union SG in Belgium. 33 starts, 25 goals, 9 assists. 
yes, that's that's quite tidy. That's very tidy. He's twenty six on the dot as well. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. Yeah, uh, Kevin says twenty eight is not old. Uh, look at Messi and Ronaldo. Uh, yeah, I agree to a certain extent, Kevin. But Messi and Ronaldo are probably very much one offs that I don't think we'll see again. To be fair, um, the, the yes. way that you know football is now, I just can't see it. Um, they are very much in their own sort of freaks of nature. Strat- especially Ronaldo. I mean, you know, the, the guy is well. He's my he, he, for me. He's the best player ever. Nature. For me, but, uh, because he's done it in so many different leagues. Uh, Mark says, give us all the Chelsea players and we'll give them ASM. Oh, Mark's not a fan. Um, I was just about to say, don't get Alex. Alex, can I ask you a question? If if Chelsea mm-hmm. came to if we went to Chelsea for Pulisic, right? And they said, right, we'll do a straight swap with Maxi. What would you do? Uh, I'd probably take it. Yeah. <laughs> Because well, he was he was bought for sixty, um, similar potential. Pulisic has got arguably more. I mean, I'd have to double check his data, but if 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 the club accepted it, then I would have to accept that and move on. So I'll say what I've, I'll I'll give the same example for Chris Wood as I do for Maxi. When they're in the shirt, I'll try my best to support them. Um, I, I enjoy watching Maxi when he's when he's on fire when he's doing it right. He's one of the most exciting players to watch in the Premier League, if not the most exciting player. Let's be honest. Home game last season. Was exactly. Crazy. So um, we we know yeah. we know what he can do when he's, he's just really got, he's really in for it. Um, exactly. Yeah. But if the club want to do that, I would accept it. And Pulisic is also a really exciting player, so I yeah. I have to take it on the chin. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll see. Uh, Kevin says, uh, Paul, you've said a lot that Brogia would be a loan for a full season. Uh, why don't you think it's possible to get him on a permanent deal? Because I don't think Newcastle are looking at Brogia as a permanent. Um, I, I believe they would probably look at it as a, as a, a loan to a view to with, a permanent with deal. With an option, yeah. Um, yeah. But he's mm. not really proven last season, Danielle, if you think about it. He did, he, what did he get? Six goals for Southampton. He started off brilliantly, but died off. Yeah, we don't want to make any, any other mistakes with upfront players, I think. Um, yeah. So I think it would be a sensible move if that's what they're thinking of, is to bring him in for a season and then maybe an option to buy at the end with an agreed price. Yeah, definitely. Uh, sorry, uh, ADB says, some advice. Uh, I'm XXL for the new home shirt. What size should I order? One up, 3XL. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you'll be all right with that. Um, Steve Bruce says, uh, Werner Hudson, Adoyan Pulisic, not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what he would come out and mm-hmm. say. Well, you know, um, oh, don't. Yeah, oh. Sooner take El Mohammedi. Uh, El Mohammedi, <laughs> you know, he's one hell of a player. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you know, uh, he loves a kebab as well, does El Mohammedi. Um, <laughs> Mike says, as fans know, uh, as fans, we have every right to make our feelings known. Uh, give your own head a wobble. Ooh. Well, not to the owners when we're doing what we're doing. If we were bottom of the league, spending no money, as per Mike Ashley, then yes, we'd have something to say. Um, but the fact of the matter is, Mike, uh, talking just, a load of shit, mate, to be quite honest. Paul, just check yes? the bothered bag. It's empty. Actually, hang on, I'll get me other glasses because I might be able to find that fuck that I give about that comment. Mm. And I, you know, um. Stephen Hallway, thank you very much for your five pound super chat. Uh, good evening, Tune Review family. Hope you're all well, and let's hope the Tune put on a great performance and, of course, win. Uh, yes. Um, see th- that Mike Myers is one of those, you know, bedroom people that hide behind black dark thou curtains. I think his name and, gives it away, really. Yeah, and, mm-hmm. and tries to, and probably tries to tweet the owners. Uh, um, can I just say about yeah. that as well? Like, he's not wrong. But there is a way to do it. Like, Correct. If, if you yeah. if you air your dissatisfaction, that's fine. Because if you just put it on social media generally, that will get back to the owners. If there is dissatisfaction about a player over a couple of seasons, the club mm. will know about that. You don't have to actively pester the owners constantly. If you have an issue, you know, you can vocalise that and discuss. That's perfectly fine. Um and they will pick up on that if there is a, a big enough group with the same opinion. And if there is an issue that they, they are on social media because they're following jokes, they're getting involved They're with war flags. They, they are reading stuff. Um, and if people keep pestering them with nuisance, they, we risk them just getting a bit annoyed and just 
not bothering, and that would be re- that would be a real shame. So, you so know, you can still Mike, win. What Alex just... is, yeah, what Alex is trying to say, Mike, is take your face for a shite, get out your bedroom, stop playing with yourself all day, and do something useful with your life. Um, <laughs> Foxy says, "Why is Paquetta being called a twat? Uh, if he goes to City, fair play to him. Absolutely. Look, yeah, if, exactly. if he wants to play for Guardiola." Who are we to say? Or just because he's best mate to a Bruno, we automatically think, oh, he has to come to Newcastle. Or that's, you know, yes, we want him. Of course we do. As Billy was saying before, he wants him to come to Newcastle. But if he wanted to go and play for Guardiola, which I don't particularly think he will because I'm with Billy on this. I think if he, if, if there's one club he comes to in England, I, I still believe it'll be Newcastle. Um, but if he goes to Manchester City, then so be it. Mm-hmm. You know, that's his decision. He'll be a bit of a twat, um, though, wouldn't he? He'll make me look a real twat, to be, be fair. A bastard, Billy, not a twat, but, you know. <laughs> um, Mark, Boston, Mark Burston, thank you for becoming a new member. Welcome to the family, my friend. Uh, Derek says, Le Keep is the French version of the Beano. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it yeah, does come out with shocking a takes this summer. Denise yeah, Le yeah. Menis. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, in in did he? Uh, I like coffee. Says I love Billy's jokes. <laughs> Thank you. I like coffee. I like coffee. Yeah. <laughs> um. G Smith. Thank you for your two pound super chat. This is Met Callum Wilson in the club shop. Class. He's starting with the game. Yes, he is. He'll be there tomorrow. Well, both games. Me. Um. You'll see me, and then you'll see Stato. Um. <laughs> I'm not small for reference. He's well, just enormous. Are. To me, you're small, but that, uh, most people Everybody's are. small. I, well, yes, I, I know. I, I tend to, you know, but I can't help that. I was I was stood in manure for a year, you know. Mm. Charming. Terrible memory. Sorry? Charming. Oh, well, I know. Uh, Rachel know says, I Sunday. would love it. Rachel would love it. Love She'd it. Love it. Uh, <laughs> if they brought Paquetta out at one of the matches over the weekend and announced him, uh, what a sight that would be. I can dream. Rachel, yes, can, careful Rachel. you don't drown in your Weetabix milk. Um, I, 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 I don't think it's going to happen this weekend. Um, but you I never know. Maybe, You're allowed to. Well, you don't. And with Newcastle, you certainly never know. But I think what will happen is um, we may see activity next week if we're going to go for anybody. Because I don't. I really genuinely think Eddie Howe will want players in before the season kicks off. But we've said it before. We'll say it again. Newcastle will be involved right the way up to the deadline. Whether it's bringing players in or rumours or linked to players, they will be involved right until that window closes. I've got no doubt about that. Um, John says, good that I won't get the chance to see Big Joe on Friday night due to suspension, uh, but still can't wait for tomorrow. Yeah, of course, he's suspended after that uh, sending off. And when you look at that tackle again, guys, you know, that in the Premier League is a red card. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Should never have happened though, because it should have been a free kick. Obviously, I mean, uh, you know, Danielle, what did you make of it? Because Murphy was clearly fouled, you know, before Big Joe made that challenge. So, had the referee blown the whistle, it would never have happened. Sorry, did you talk to me? Me and F flared up there a minute. You froze. Yeah, um, just saying Sorry. if if if, um, if that foul was given against the Benfica player for bringing mm-hmm. down Murphy. That mm-hmm. tackle never happens. I mean, it was a but bad th- tackle, don't get me wrong. But the thing it, it, is with Joe, though, he just sees red, doesn't he? Yeah, like, well, he, he just... Literally. He, like, literally sees red, and that's it. <laughs> but I don't it. want to take that out of him, Danielle. No, I know, I know. And I think, you know, you've got what you've got to remember is, yes, not yesterday, the other day on Tuesday when it were played, it was like the atmosphere was unreal. It was like a proper Champions League game. That sort of felt yeah. like a European game. And I just think maybe the occasion, him and Bruno were fired up. The whole, you know, the, the whole time we're on the pitch, and I don't know. At least it's happened now, and then Eddie can just have a little word with him. Do you think they know. got to Bruno, Danielle? Mm. Do you think they got the niggled Bruno a little bit because he wasn't at his best, was he? He was a little bit frustrated, yeah, which is understandable. But maybe, yeah, maybe we, they got under his skin a little bit. But I, I'm not worried about it. I think in terms of Big Joe, I think Eddie will have sorted it with him and just say, look, you don't need to get, you know. I mean, the first yellow. I was just screaming at him to walk away. Just walk away, give it up. We've we've seen it before in the Premier League, you know, where he's just been at the referee and at the referee. And I understand the frustration. He's absolutely well within his rights to be frustrated, but sometimes you've just got to walk away from that kind of situation. But, hey, at least it doesn't affect his, you know, the Forest game or anything like that. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, It is what it is. says, morning about morning, the irony. He's not moaning about it. 
<laughs> Too shy, about, Billy. <laughs> warning about the morning about the morning. Hmm? Crazy. Uh, Dave says, uh, hi, Paul. I'm normally an XL. What do you reckon? XL or double XL? I want a Saudi third shirt, but not sure size-wise. I'd still go size up, to I be would. honest. I, be I would always go size up. Um, you, you, you know, the, the, a lot of football tops these days are made for, you know, the, the, the athlete, shall we say. Uh, <laughs> you know, very skin tight and stuff like that, which, um, you know, fair enough to people that are ripped and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, the, there is people in this world who are, different shapes and sizes. So I think that the football shirts should be made to, I mean, this, this Pauk one, right. Is, is, is very sort of, it's a lovely fit, but it's also stretchy as well. And it keeps you yeah. fresh mm-hmm. and it feels fresh. You want to feel comfy, don't you? Yeah, exactly. You feel like you're being suffocated at the football. Like- Which I do in the home top. It's I like really do. Female hygiene commercial. What the f- Bloody hell. Be a female next, hygiene honey. commercial. What <laughs> planet are you on? Alex is going to the dark. He's, he's in the sea. <laughs> miss rolling in from the sea. Wings, by the way. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> I appreciate it. that. Uh, Money man's having a bit of nightmare. Saying, "Do you miss? Do you ever miss Alan Share?" <laughs> um, Alan Sugar. Course... <laughs> is it Alan Sugar? Is it Alan Shearer? Is it Fabian Share's brother? Oh, Who the hell knows? Means, uh, no Seattle Jordy, thanks for another $10 super chat, my friend. Uh, he says, good evening to all at the Tune Review. I would just like to say, any that moan and groan about the new owners to watch the lap after the Arsenal game, it brings me to tears. It makes me proud to be a fan and a Jordy. Brilliant quote. Fantastic, Seattle Jordy. You are the man. No TCR you're for this week. You're the com- man that- over there that- in, the- in America. Yo, Adrian. Com- Comment of the week. Right there. Yeah, yep. comment of the week. Could well be. Could well be. Could well be. Um, Channel right says, Wingy McWinge faces. I'm not sure who he's talking about there. Um, you all deserve a few weeks in Mauritius, says George. Oh, you paying, George? George, George you paying? I mean, you know, it's very kind of you to offer. Um, mm-hmm. I'm sure we'll take you up on that offer. <laughs> I have no problem at all. But the problem is, Susan probably won't let me go. <laughs> Evening, Susan. Uh, uh, hi, guys. Do you think that Newcastle will get in a new striker before the Forest game, says John? Probably not. Maybe. It's tight, we'll get though, isn't it? the window shuts. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not worried about that. I just think, you know, it is a week on Saturday, so. It's probably tighter than a nun's knickers. I'm not expecting any. I do expect before the window closes, we will get something. Uh, Louis, thank you very much for your £3.50 super chat. Uh, for your program tomorrow, Paul. Thank you, mate. Aww, I appreciate that. How kind. Have you seen um, them tomorrow's program? Sorry? Tomorrow's program has got Miggy on the front as like it a little got Miggy bobblehead. On the front, yeah. It looks Aww. very cool. Yeah, it is a, it is a good uh, it is a good uh, it is a good program. It is. Uh Tony says people saying Werner didn't out for Chelsea have a word. De Bruyne didn't out either, and look how he ended up. Good point. Well made. Oh, very and good. Salah. Point, and Salah's another one. Salah as well. There's another Salah's- one. Good for Chelsea. People just want to watch it. People, these are people who just watch Match of the Day and then made opinions. Yeah, but at that time, Chelsea were just going through players like we go through tins of he beans. He was really you know tidy, I mean? though. He was making all the right runs. He was. You've got to look beyond just did they score enough? Like, there's so much more to football than that. Yeah. Uh, Darren says, what a weekend we have come and tune playing both Friday and Saturday. The Lionesses in the final on Sunday. Then a week later, the Premier League begins. Get in. Absolutely, and uh, good luck to the Lionesses on Sunday, playing the Germans, who I think, by the way, they'll beat. Uh, I watched the, the, the Germany-France game, and I, I really do believe that the, the lassies can do it. Uh, mm-hmm. They're playing so well at the minute. Uh, the momentum is just way levels above what Germany is. And, uh, I'm never pretty... write off the Germans. Never no, no, I'm Germans. not writing off, really. It's I just Germans. think this is a massive opportunity. And it why is. not be confident? The way they've played, the goals they've been scoring... Let's let's just be confident that we're going to beat the Germans. Yeah, yeah, I'm on uh, board. Yeah, I agree, I agree, but it's, it's pretty German, isn't it? All right, Grim Reaper. Jesus Christ, the Grim Reaper. Aye. Billy's had more heartbreaks than us. Like you can see it in his eyes. <laughs> uh, Is there scarred. anything you I'm want to get off Alex. the chest, Billy? Is there anything you would you know? I'm, I, I, I'm scarred. Da, 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 da. 
I do remember us beating them 3-0 pre World Cup friendly, though. That one kind of, mm. that's pretty good. And the 5 1, obviously. Yes. Well, we Matt beat and... them recently in a. In a... Yeah, in a yeah. Mm-hmm. The 5 1, I was on honeymoon in Greece and I was attacked by Hitler's granddaughter with an ashtray. What? Yeah, no right. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's face. That's another story. Confusion. Mm-hmm. Alex, next player, Timo <laughs> Werner. <laughs> so, speaking of the Germans. Oh, uh, yeah, well, we have a here. good little, uh, yeah. you know, get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, nice. For everybody whinging that he didn't score enough goals last se- season, he played 1,200 minutes. He can't score if he's not on the pitch. you got to give him a break. Literally, 1,200 minutes is not that much. So, for context, four goals from 7.6 XG, expected goals. So, he, he probably should have got two or three more. He was underperforming, a little yeah. bit unlucky. So, for context... Here's Maxi. Five, five goals, five XG from 2,800 minutes. So he is, Werner is far more clinical. Um, five games in the Champions League for 246 minutes and he managed more. Four goals, two assists in the Champions League. He's been there, done that. And anybody who has a statistical sort of uh, profile, which is similar to, to Lewandowski, Zapata and Immobile, I'm sorry, but they are three of the best strikers in the world. Zapata's been doing it in Serie A for quite a long time. Immobile's Immobile has been ridiculous in Serie A. Um, Lewandowski has been bonkers in Germany, like potentially about to do it in La Liga as well. So looking at his profile, touches in the attacking penalty area in the 98th percentile. As a, so this is as a striker, eight touches, progressive passes received. So this is passes. Um, this is what we need to improve on as a club. So these are passes that do not come from the first 40% of the pitch. And we are long ball merchants. So yep. we need to potentially need to try and be a little bit more creative up the field. We need long staff to start playing a few little cheeky balls in. And we need a bit more creativity in that final third. Um, but again, we need to increase our shot volume. 3.24 shots per 90. 83rd percentile. Very, very tidy. His his XG, non-penny goal XG, is better than Wilson's. Wilson's is 0.52. Uh, Werner's is 0.58 so he, and he's in the 96th percentile he's absolutely fine he plays minutes fine is he is he doing what Lewandowski and Ballon d'Or winners are doing no he's dropped off a little bit but is he better than our strikers absolutely yes he's better than anything I just think got it's a confidence club. thing with Timo Werner um, I think you know it, it, he didn't start his career great at Chelsea and then the pressure was on him from this you know in, in he just went to bits. Exactly. And so there's the context here. So you are right. Yeah, he, he struggled a little bit in his first season. Yeah. Well, people say he struggled. Six goals, eight assists. We mm. wouldn't mind that. <laughs> we wouldn't mind that. That's struggling very form. So his struggling form is still a massive upgrade on what we've got, let's be honest. Um, and then when he when he left Germany, 28 goals, eight assists. Yeah. That is, those are freak numbers. Mental. That is outrageous. His XG was 22.4. So he overperformed, but even if he if he underperformed, he's still getting more than twenty goals in that season. So uh, he is a, he is a freak of nature. He is an athlete. He is fast. He is technical. Mm-hmm. Yes, he is a confidence player, and occasionally he suffers in front of goal, and he has a bit of sort of a deer in the headlights, and he misses some open goals, and people jump on him because that's what people remember. But if you look at from week to week, he puts up the numbers. And that's what we need. We need people to put up the numbers yeah. over the course of a 38-game season. Yep. This guy's Absolutely. not injured very much. He's 26 years old on the dot. He's a, he's a good, he's five foot eleven. He's a good weight. He's an athlete. He's perfect age. If Chelsea aren't that keen and want to go in a different direction, this kid's gonna do amazing somewhere else. So I want the German. I want him at the tone. Hmm. Uh, Danielle, Timo Werner. Ah, sign him up. Absolutely. How much are you looking at for Timo Werner, though? I mean, well, probably quite a lot. Yes. (laughs) I would say about 40 mil. At a minimum. We're not going to get him any cheaper than that. I I wouldn't imagine. Unless it was like a swap. I think 40 mil would be a decent, uh, decent, at least a clone back, quite, uh, you know, at least three quarters of what they paid for him you know what I mean so yeah 100% definitely. another thing to consider which I forgot is uh, World Cup year this mm-hmm. he will not yep. want uh, those minutes this year he will want way more than that yep. so if he doesn't get guaranteed more than that he he personally might be open to a move not it's not just what about what Chelsea want 
uh, which then opens up discussions of ter- maybe, maybe loans. Maybe they let him go for a year well, because he wants more minutes, because he wants to be in the World Cup squad, guaranteed. There is a lot of reports, um, a lot of reports about Werner Link with Newcastle. It's not just one or two. Uh, George, yep. thank you very much for your 10 pound super chat. Of course, George sits in front of me at the football. Uh, won't be at the friendlies, but we'll see you all at the Forest game. Uh, thanks for keeping me sane over the summer. You're very welcome, George. Looking forward to seeing you uh, back in St. James's next week. Remember to bring uh, the midget gems. Absolutely. Uh, Tom mm-hmm. says, if Callum Wilson's carrying a bit of timber, then I'm carrying an entire forest. Uh, you, Tom. Mm-hmm. No, well, well, if you're I'll carrying feel, a forest, Tom, I'm carrying a planet. Although, to be fair, I am losing a bit of timber. I, I start my diet on Monday and it's, it's uh, going well. Oh, well done. I'll start one every Monday. Well, mm. yeah, absolutely, Billy. Absolutely. God um, loves a try, yeah, Billy. Mm-hmm. Chappers, thank you very much for your three pound forty nine super chat. Uh, really appreciate that, mate. Uh, chappers and chippers, it's just too much for me, man. Um, <laughs> Alex, before we talk, quickly talk about the friendlies. Any honourable mentions? Um, yeah, so Harvey Barnes, we got linked with, of course. Uh, he, he was going to be somebody that we, we were going to review, but uh, I don't, it doesn't look too likely that you know the articles that uh, linked him to us were it also the same articles that shut down the links. It was very it, it wasn't really much in it. It was a 50 million quoted price which is quite high. Yeah. No, it there's not a, doesn't seem to be much truth in the links either. Uh although Leicester do seem to be in a position where they need to sell to buy, mm. but obviously they've got Schmeichel that they're looking to 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 move on to Nice and replace and Tielemans is the one who's most likely to leave. So yeah, it, he would be a good player. Plays in Maxi's position is peak age. Good goal contributions, 10 assists last season would be interesting. Yeah. But uh, I'm not sure there's much authenticity in that. Um, who else was know. there? Um, just just to out. Of, uh, you have a think. Uh, Aileen uh, says, uh, hi, my hubby loves this show. Well, I hope you do too, Aileen. Or Aileen, or uh, I think it's Aileen, that isn't it? Aileen, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Larry says, I will truly be angry if Lewis Paquetta goes anywhere but Newcastle United. Um, good evening to the oh, mad putter. Uh, Omar says, uh, hello, love this show. Taking my little lad who's four, Cameron, to his first game on Saturday. Oh, I love Fantastic, you. Omar. Come and say hello. Um, will it be capacity for the two friendlies? It's close enough. Mm-hmm. Um, Probably sold, what, 80,000 tickets or something crazy for the two games? Something like that. I, th- I think Saturday will probably... Be a bigger crowd than Friday night. Um, but Friday night's going to hit near enough 50,000. Uh, going to be a lot of hungover people on the Saturday crowd. Oh, absolutely. God, those nightclubs will be bouncing in the tune on, on mm-hmm. Friday night. Uh, Soli says, thanks. Been watching for a while. First ever channel I subscribe to, so you're worth it. Thank you. Oh, so kind. We should start calling ourselves Pantene. Because you're <laughs> worth it. Good old Soli. Do you know him, Billy? Oh, Soli Mio. No, no. Oh, for no. Christ on the <laughs> bike. Uh, Paul says, uh, excuse me, but the son is the number one supporter of the British Armed Forces. Don't you know, don't you know? I couldn't give a flying fuck, to be That's honest, fine. Paul, if I'm honest. Uh, I'm, I, I just, uh, you cannot praise the Sun newspaper. And I'm sorry for, for, for my French, but hashtag Frenchness, but it's bollocks. The Sun is a bollocks newspaper, and it always will be. Um, yeah, but the contributions to charity doesn't doesn't mean they're good at sports journalism. It's not connected. Exactly. Uh, Luis has uh, just ordered a crowbar off Amazon. What kind of wrestling match are you having? Maybe that was like <laughs> Billy's joke earlier on. It just went nowhere. Mm. Um, Alex says all the NUFC shirts that should have been shipped. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, wish. Yeah. yeah, stop them up behind them. <laughs> uh, right, the friendlies. Uh, we'll talk about it briefly before we go. Um, I want to see in one of the games. I want to see what will possibly be the starting lineup against Forest. I know he probably won't want to do that because he won't want to give everything away. I just think he's got to try and do something. Um, and, and you know, I, I've I've thought about it for a while, and I just like the. Th- I don't agree if he's. I mean, I've heard a lot of people saying, you know, he'll he'll change the eleven at half time on Friday and do exactly the same. 
on Saturday so all the players get 90 <laughs> minutes. I don't see the point. We've got a big game against Forrest a week later. Surely, Danielle, he needs to play some sort of strong side for the majority of one of the games. I think maybe on Saturday he might. Um, but then again, maybe he'll just continue the vein that he's been going down and just playing two sides a half, like a side a half. So I, I, I agree with you 100%. I think we need to see a stronger 11 and I think we need to be ready. Um, for next for next Saturday, but whether he will or not, I don't know. You can never call what Eddie's going to do. That's the thing. I think we know that historically since he's came, we, we can never call what he's going to do. So hopefully he will. Um, Munkal says the Mercy song is the only thing I dislike about this channel. What's the Mercy song? Pass. Munkal, have you joined us late and been watching another show? Because. Uh... I think you've had a good story. Duffy, in it. Duffy, in it. Yeah. I'm begging you for mercy. I knew that was coming. <laughs> but birdseed, birdseed, birdseed. What's bird the head <laughs> movement? Yeah, what is this? Yeah. I'm begging you for birdseed. <laughs> ah. I did a Michael Jackson at the end there. I don't know why. <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was, to be honest. Uh, uh, Billy, what do you think about the weekend? Yeah, I think he's been hamstrung a bit by Joe Lyndon getting sent off for the night. So you're not, mm. you're not going to see the strongest 11 against uh, Atalanta, but possibly against Bilbao. Bilbao, I should say. Who the hell's Bilbao? <laughs> I'm going back to the 1930s there. That's something my granddad would have said. Hey, Bilbao. The, Bilbao. the Hobbits or Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, hello, Bilbao. 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 <laughs> the, the Basques. Um, so, yeah, I expect, I expect to see a stronger side for the Saturday game, I guess. <laughs> Friday, fringes, fringe players, and maybe the odd one or two, but I'm guessing the strongest side will be against Bill Bow. Fair enough. Alex, what do you reckon? Um, I think we'll be all right. They've only just started their preseason, so they their first one against Lecho got cancelled on the 20th. So they've played one game against Como, and they won it 4-0. Um, so they've only got they've had one match and they did similar to what we did. They made seven halftime substitutions and then a bunch on seventy four minutes. Um, they got they got a strong squad though. You know they got uh, Yal- Yalkin Melo who was at Ajax. They got Demiral in centre back who we were linked with. Martin Darun Zapata obviously. I love their other striker. I hate that he wears the number ninety nine, but his name's Mustafa Cisse, which is amazing. Um, the Bilbao one, I don't know. They've just drew 1-1 one, one with Mainz, and we know exactly what Mainz are like. So mm-hmm. I'm interested to see what happened in that game with them. They've played two friendly, so they're a bit more prepared. Um, with obviously Inyaki Williams up front is very, very tidy. Yeah. I don't know. I agree with the Joe Linton being suspended has kind of stuffed what possible plans could have been in place. Um, does he play an A team and a B team? You know, does he do half and, half and half and half and half? He could go yeah. different ways. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. Mm-hmm. It would be very funny if Zapata played the first half for Atalanta, signed for Newcastle. I knew what you were going to say. And played <laughs> the second half for the tune. <laughs> well, we send Richie the other way. Yeah, just just a thought. Just a thought. And of course, Shalvey being injured also hams- hamstrings him literally because he's got hamstring sciatical problems. So well, it could be short in midfield against Atalanta. Yeah, because he he doesn't normally like doing. Um... He's never he's never enjoyed Longstaff and Willock on the same pitch at the same time, um, so yeah, it's going to be Bruno as a DM, and then the the two in front of him is massively up for debate because Anderson Longstaff didn't work um, at all. So yeah, hmm, yeah. is it going to be Anderson Willock or is he going to try Longstaff Willock? We'll see. It's Bruno plus two other people. That's basically yeah. it. Well, there you go. It is now time for the uh, the members' draw to see who will win this uh, Newcastle United retro shirt. Um, now, it is from uh, Score Draw Official Retro. Uh, it is a size large. Now, um, I did try it on earlier on, and I can't get it over my... Did you know? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I couldn't get it over my left boob. Um, however... I'm sure this will, uh, you know, so I'm sure it will fit somebody. Uh, or if it doesn't, just just use it. Just just frame it. It's it's a classic shirt. Um, 
Stotty says, I bet Alex bites his tongue on the show just to be professional. Uh, you're doing a great job. Listen, he's got a <laughs> sense of humor. I know sometimes he doesn't show it. Uh, and he just grins as if to say, Paul, will you just shut the hell up? He definitely bites um, his tongue now, don't you, Alex? <laughs> That's no, definitely not. Of course not. he doesn't. Of course <laughs> he doesn't. Why would he do that? There's just no, there's just no need. Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, let me go to my little uh, tool. Oh, oh, shut up. <laughs> shut up, Billy. Uh, <laughs> hey! Right. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Screen share is not possible. Bugger. Right, I'm just going to do the draw. I'm going to hit the button. Here we go. James Ellison. James Ellison. I have seen him in the chat tonight, so I know he's bloody watching. So we may actually have a winner that wants the shirt. Uh, James Ellison, you are the winner of the Newcastle United shirt. Please contact me with your address. So either, well, the, the email address is at the bottom of the description um, of the video. Uh, you can contact me on Twitter or contact me on the Tune Review Facebook group and uh, we'll get that sent out to you. So James Ellison, well done, my friend. Um, just seen just last few comments coming in here. Sorry if I haven't read your comment out. I'll put it on the screen. We've had a massive, massive viewing figures again, and I, I do apologize. It's just you cannot, basically. Um, come on, James, put a comment up so you've seen it. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that because I, I know he's there's about 30 pretending to be James. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of well dones. Uh, I'm not, I, I've definitely seen him. I've definitely seen his name in there tonight. I'm sure I have. Um, he may well have. He may well have buggered off now. Um, but you never know. Anyway, while we're waiting for his comment to come in or whatever, uh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Um, <laughs> what are you laughing at? People keeps comments. Quacker. Oh no. <laughs> Um, <laughs> thank you very much, everybody, for watching the show. As usual, the usual banter, everything like that. It'll be, it's been great. Um, I hope that me and Alex will see quite a lot of you over the weekend. Come and say hello. We will be by the uh, Jackie Milburn statue just to the side of the club shop, uh, well before kickoff, up until about half an hour beforehand, and then we'll disappear into the ground. We'll be there after the game for a little bit as well. Uh, so if you want to come over and say hello, please do. Uh, it would be lovely to put uh, faces to names, uh, as we always do. And then, of course, a week later, Danielle, you're going to be at the Forest game. I am. Uh, so we'll be uh, there as well to come and mm -hmm. say hello to. Uh, so thank you very much. Thank you, Use 3, for your company tonight. Thank you again to the Mod Squad. Absolutely brilliant work uh, backstage, as usual, uh, keeping all you rabble under control. And uh, we will see you on... Tomorrow night, well, Billy will anyway, for the uh, watch along. So make sure you get tuned in for that. Um, and uh, hopefully, we'll be celebrating some Newcastle victories when we do the show on Sunday. There may well be a show Saturday, possibly. Um, if not, uh, we may do two Sunday. Who knows? We may do the preview of the friend, a review of the friendlies, and then, of course, do the Premier League prediction show later. Yeah, on. I'll be driving back Saturday. So. Can we do it when the, when England aren't playing though? Because I want to watch. Yeah, well, the it's ladies. four o'clock kickoff for England, so we might do the review like at two. There we go. He's, he's commented. What right at the bottom? Does he? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's five o'clock kickoff. Yay! There he is. Yes, with lots of exclamation marks. I knew he was in there somewhere. Um, well done, James. So if you can make sure you get your address to me, matey. Um, so listen, keep an eye on the channel over the weekend, guys. Uh, we'll keep you updated on all the socials. Uh, so make sure you got the notification bell hit. Hit the like button tonight, guys. Please, please, please do that because it does help boost the channel and tell us or tell YouTube that we are wonderful. Uh, and also, uh, please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thank you to all the Super Chats again tonight. You are absolute legends. Uh, you really do help along with the channel. So thank you so much. Right, that's it. I'll shut my face. Go to bed. Good night, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. How are you?